Okay, you put the collar over his head and you pull it way up high under his neck and right above his ears. Show him the front of his head. See where the collar is right in front? Lift his head up. See, that's the way he wears the collar. And then when you're walking with him, he walks on your left side. Go ahead. Okay. And he walks right beside you, nice and smooth without any pulling. You'll need to practice this as he doesn't pull for us any longer. He might try to pull for you. You'll need to make sure he is doing this Wait. correctly and give a little jerk like you just saw Joe do if he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. And now once you stop, he should sit. sit. Every time you stop, sit. you lift his head up with the collar and the rear end goes down. You just hold it taut and firm. Okay, show him the other stuff. We're showing um, or nibbling wrong. Strap the lips right under the top of the jaws. I'm wrong. Leave it. If he's pawing, wrong. No pause. Show him that no pause so I can see it really clearly in the photo, in the video. The no pause, you just pretty much grab the, the toes and you squeeze them firmly. Not hard, just firmly. Together. And wrong. No pause. Is that it? Yep. Go. We say let's go when we start to walk with Wait. the dog on our leash on our left side. Wait. Wait at the door. Okay, come. Until you tell him okay. Swap the, put a treat in your hand, let him smell your no, hand with his nose and tell him thank you to swap the treat for the ball. This keeps him always dropping the ball when you teach him to fetch and work with him in this way. I mean, he's letting it go, he's just... Okay. Good boy. High five. Good high five. Oh, good up, boss. Good boy. Now, crawl. Using the ball for bait. He'd prefer to play ball than he would have chicken. The tricks always need something exciting like a toy or a treat to get them to do their tricks. We didn't do dance yet. <laughs> or roll over. I'm still recording. roll over and crawl. <clears throat>
now. Roll over. Good. Using treats. As the nose follows the treats, he already knows how to roll over and crawl. He just needs encouragement. Good boy. Wait at the door. Wait. People always go in first and the puppy always comes in late. So that's why he learns the pecking order in the house. And he'll stand there and wait. And you'll wait. practice like this for a few weeks. So he's tugging on the leash and he's still staying. Good and you need to practice this way. All right, Good tell way. him to come on. Okay. Till you give the okay signal, which is. Tonka's in the car and Joe's gonna let him out. Open the door. Wait. Say wait. He's not allowed to jump out of the car without permission. Okay. Then okay is a signal to get Good. to get out. Now we're gonna show you how to get him into the car. Okay, Tonka. Come on. Tell him, start telling him up, 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 up. Good and boy. he needs to get a little running wait. start. And then you tell him wait. He's not allowed to get out of the car until wait. you allow him. He'll test you. But the car door will not shut on their feet, I promise you. <laughs> Leave it. Good. Because he's been told to leave it means you don't take whatever it is. If we drop, your kids drop a cookie on the floor, you don't want him to have it. You grab it, you tell him leave it, and he won't pick it up. Or toys or anything like leave that. It. Okay? Good. Leave it. Perfect. Good. What a doll! Good all right, this is no barking. Joe has his fingers, he uses his fingers and he pokes Tonka and says, quiet, no barking at the same time. And that's his correction. Say he's barking at something you don't want him to be barking. You should be able to just say quiet, no barking, but just in case you're gonna have to reinforce it with a poke, which is our correction process.